All right, guys, welcome back to another Patreon request, and this one comes from Christopher Rosa. Now, if you guys remember, Rosa asked me to do a Ninja Turtles, well, I guess you wouldn't call it a crossover, well, multiverse story involving the 2012 Turtles and the Turtles from 2003. But they also asked me to do a, another story involving, like, a same universe story. And, well... I'm making it same universe, and there's a, there's a reason for that. And that is basically Carmen Sandiego versus Carmen Sandiego. So we're taking the new cartoon, the reboot series, and having her fight the original 90s cartoon version of her. Yeah. <laughs> so, but there's... it's And you're probably thinking, oh, is it like a special um, device or relic that sends her to a different universe? Or is it like time travel or something? No... I thought of those and was like, no, I got something better. <laughs> so, um, <laughs> so let's let's jump right into this story, man. Let's let's just get right into it. So this story is basically that it sets right at the end of Carmen San Diego, and Carmen goes to meet her mother, and it's this older woman, and they're talking, and they start talking like, oh my god, you're my mom. I've I've looked all my life for you, and the woman goes. You should know something. I'm not your mom. You never had a mom. I'm a science. I'm part of the science. Gr I'm part of a science group that you were a, that you know. I was part of a team that helped make you. And she's like, "What are you talking?" About? And Carmen goes, "What are you talking about?" I was born. I, they found Vial found me. And it's like, no, they programmed your thought. We programmed your thoughts into that. Um, you need to hear this. <laughs> so. Um, but right before, however, right before um, this woman like tells her everything, uh, a bullet just goes right over past Carmen's head and right into this woman, right past her head, and goes right into this woman's chest, killing her instantly. So Carmen instantly finds herself attacked by like high, uh, these highly trained, uh, this highly trained task force sent by someone known only as the director. And the director's like, did you find her? Did you find her? Did you uh, did you get her? And they're like, no, ma'am, she got away. And the director basically says, find that, uh, find the girl now. <laughs> and so Carmen is thrown into a deep conspiracy, like she's thrown into a massive conspiracy um, that she had been um, dealing with her whole life. And to get it, like she finds all these little uh, like moments where like the one thing that keeps coming back to her is this thing called Project Ouroboros. And Project Ouroboros is this just... And the whole thing, like, she talks to players, like, what is Ouroboros? And or, and he goes, Ouroboros was this old thing that was, like, the snake eating its tail. Like, the thi like something is eternal. Like, it's never-ending. Like, it's a never-ending loop. And <laughs> so the more they dar Carmen starts digging into Ouroboros, she gets file access into Acme, who's also been... Whoever the director is, is essentially, like, they've been playing... A game involving Acme and Vile for the past 30 years. And eventually, because I'm not even going <laughs> to... Like, I think you know where this is going. Project Ouroboros, the director, is the original Carmen Sandiego. Yeah, Carmen grew up. Carmen, like, Carmen got older, and essentially she took over Vile. She forged Vile into a new image. Like, every villain you remember from the past show, they all died or got old, and essentially Carmen, to build a new criminal empire, she cre recreated Vile and made everyone. Like, she more or less, like, took people and was using that technology that they used to reprogram Carmen the first time around, and reprogrammed all these people, like the Duchess and um, Coach Brunt. All of these people were just taken off the street and just made into these new people, and she, as the director, would, like, be this shadowy, um, like, overseer of everything. And where does Carmen play into this? Carmen's a clone. Yeah, Carmen is a clone of the original Carmen San Diego. Um, essentially, Carmen has been, like, Carmen's getting older. Like, she, like, for the past 30 years, yeah, in the 90s were, were 30 years ago. <laughs> Fuck, we're old. Um... <laughs> <laughs> that's that's depressing, isn't it? That, you know, the, the '90s is now considered 30 years ago. That's that is that that is depressing. So, Carmen has essentially been um, Carmen's been basically uh, fight like 
rebuilding this empire. Not only that, she rebuilt Acme because, like, essentially, she knew when she was building Vile, she was like, all right, so I know if I do this, there's going to be multiple agencies after me. I'm going to have, like, Interpol after me and other agencies the entire time. I'm no it's never going to stop. So what I'm going to do is infiltrate Acme and rebuild it to have it be like Acme is set, is specifically designed to, to combat Vile. So that's what she does. She installs, like, a new chief. She, um... Uh, puts in agents and, you know, government agents to say, like, oh, Acme's made for specifically dealing with Vile. That's the agency's uh, whole spiel. So now she's basically covered her own store. Like, now she can just have her own little game she's playing for the rest of her life. And why make Carmen clones? Because Carmen knows she's getting on in years. She's it's been over she was already like in her 30s to begin with she's now pushing 60 and she's like i'm not getting any older i'm not getting any younger so she used her dna and mixed it with various other genes of different people she had encountered and re and put in gene uh, like the dna from other you know master thieves or criminals or whatnot and mixed dna with like either special forces or criminals or or anyone who had like above average talents and gene splice them with her own and that's what Car so there are Carmen San Diego's who are like African American Asian American uh, next Hispanic American like Carmen and that's the thing is that Carmen now has, Car our Carmen has to deal with the fact that she is confirmed to be a clone of the she's not real her whole history is a fake being found. Yeah, that wasn't real. They they literally just created her and dumped her off at Vile. So Carmen's real mother is this shadow organization leader who has been essentially um, controlling her whole life. And eventually Carmen, and even like Jack and Ivy weren't real. Like they were clones too because she knew, a Carmen knew a Jack and Ivy and he was like, well, Carmen always needs Jack and Ivy. Maybe he has friends this time around instead of the people chasing her. So she created them. She even, like, she's the one who opened the channel for Player to find Carmen. So literally, Carmen's whole life has been a lie. All of her adventures, it's all been... In, in, like, what about all the stuff I steal? And, Car like, the original Carmen goes, yeah, you stole all that stuff and put it back, so you made it easier for me to get. I still got it. Like, I still got all the shit you, you tried to steal from. You just made it, you just brought it out in the open. Vile flushed you out. I got it. So, thanks. Of course, uh, Carmen does not take lightly to any of this bullshit and has to combat her, orig her original self and basically saying, like, I'm not your, you know, I'm not who you think I am. I am not going to be your clone or your successor. And he's like, and Carmen goes, yeah, I know. You're not the first clone to say that. Like, you think you're the first? <laughs> I gave you all free will. I thought it'd be stupid if, you know, it'd be like, I gave you free will because I, I like that challenge. I needed a challenge. And the only person who was ever going to challenge me was, was myself. So Carmen didn't like program, like do like a winter soldier thing where she wrote programs and anything. She made the Carmen's each Carmen with a different personality and like a free will so because she knew the only one who's ever going to like usurp me is myself so that makes sense so if you're guessing where this is going Carmen defeats original Carmen and takes over begrudgingly as the new director of Vile um, and has to continue with Project Ouroboros so she her, now she is getting her own clones so one day another Carmen will usurp her. Yeah. <laughs> this story was a, like, I really wanted to go like complete, just terrifying with this one. Like, it was just this thought of, wouldn't it be crazy if like all of this was just one big setup by the original Carmen San Diego? Like that, like that was a thought process when I was thought of this crossover because I was like, there, I didn't want to do the old, oh, it's time travel or a different universe for this one because it just wouldn't work for Carmen. So I was like, how about we just do a story where Carmen fights Carmen, and it's a clone story. Like, do the clone saga or something. So you guys tell me in the comments below, what do you guys think of this story? Like it, hate it, comment below, let me know. And as always, if you would like to have a uh, request done, just hit the link below and head on over to my Patreon. And other than that, I am Mr. Multiverse, and I'll see you next time in the Multiverse.